Hello everyone, Sander Ek here. In today's video, I'll be trying to answer the question whether you should pull for Kazuha. Before we get started, if you like the content, please consider subscribing, thank you, and let's move on to the video. Now, one thing I want to clear up before we start this is, even though this, this is going to be a comparison video between Venti, Kazuha, and Sucrose, however, one thing I want to make clear is that the intended way to play Kazuha is not and better version of Sucrose's role. So just like saying Sucrose is a budget venti is something that is oversimplified and misleading, saying, uh, saying Kazuha is a better Sucrose is also kind of misleading and that also kind of which is why uh, Kazuha has not been receiving as much attention as he should be, at least in my opinion, uh, because he is mostly viewed as a slightly better version of Sucrose, but given that Sucrose is a 4-star, Kazuha is a 5-star, then conclusions draw and that uh, we should not pull for Kazuha because he's just only slightly better than Sucrose. Now, uh, there is a huge difference in terms of playstyle between Venti, Kazuha, and Sucrose. None of them play the same way. And I believe the three of them together covers all the potential support slash sub DPS side of Anemo as an element whole rather well. Uh, I'll move on to detail about each of them. So for first of all, let's quickly go over Venti. Venti's uh, focus is on gathering enemies for both have both of his E and his Q. And on top of that, Venti's um, focus is to kind of keep enemy uh, in a controlled state with both his E and Q and at the same time dealing swirl damage, but the focus is always on, especially after the 1.6 elemental mastery buff. Now Venti's focus is to do damage through his E with elemental mastery while keeping the opponent kind of stuck together with his Q. Now moving on to Sucrose. Sucrose also gathers enemy, same for Kazuha. They, these two both gathers enemy. However, they don't do it as well as Venti because this uh, is not their character focus. For Sucrose's character focus, her focus is to buff the entire team's elemental mastery based off her own elemental mastery after using her E or Q. In this case, she is in charge as a team buff sub uh, support. As for Kazuha, his role is also a team buff support, however, Sucrose and Kazuha fits in different teams, and here's the reason why. Sucrose's buffs Elemental Mastery, which only deals extra damage at the instance of Elemental Reaction, so Sucrose, very, uh, Sucrose heavily favors team that focuses on Elemental Reaction, so Vaporize, Melt, um, and all the rest of the reactions that deals damage. As for Kazuha, he focuses more on uh, elemental reactions that does not do as much damage because his elemental mastery after using swirl is getting directly converted to character's damage elemental damage bonus. So he is very useful for example for Child or Ganyu or anyone that plays in a more control-ish style with the elemental reaction, in this case permafreeze or in Child's case uh, electro charge is more about spreading the element onto enemies and not doing the damage them where and not doing huge damage themselves. Now let's um put this into perspective with an example. Say for example, uh, Kazuha is going to be a very good uh, sub DPS for child and here's the reason why. You use child's charge attack or her uh, or his ultimate uh, uh, bow, uh, range style to kind of cover all enemies with hydro and you swirl once and after that essentially you receive a buff on child's hydro damage bonus even further from Kazuha's elemental mastery based off Kazuha's elemental mastery because Kazuha just caused swirl and now child is able to do more damage however he does not need to cause any elemental uh, he does not need to cause any elemental reaction even though uh, it is Kazuha's elemental mastery who is buffing child. This is the major difference between Sucrose and Kazuha, which is why most people are least misleading. And then of course, if you put Kazuha in a elemental reaction as the main source of damage type of team, of course he has elemental mastery, he is going to be able to do some damage, but uh, it kind of puts, it's kind of putting Sucrose's best um, skill against Kazuha's worst skill and then calling Kazuha useless. But in reality, that is not Kazuha's strong suit. 
Now, with that out of the way, uh, let's talk a little bit about Kazuha's weakness. Um, currently, like Venti, Venti's current Elemental Mastery build, Kazuha's weakness is going to be Energy Recharge. His ultimate cost is 60 energy, and uh, on top of that, even though, um, according to the official footage showing during the 1.6 live stream, stream Kazu has uh, E into charge attack combo is able to provide him with four energy particles however uh, it will still be a problem if he does not bring any sort of extra energy recharge now of course you can be very lucky and roll into some very good energy recharge substats but again it's gonna be unlikely so um, depending on how the final build comes out uh, some people might have to sacrifice their uh, sand slot for an energy recharge sands rather than elemental mastery sands but um, again, that doesn't really decrease Kazuha's damage output by too much because it kind of brings him down from uh, around 1000 EM with a full build down to about um, 800 EM because the um, sand on top provides about 181 elemental mastery. So that is going to be Kazuha's major weakness. And as for the constellations you should go for, uh, C2 is a huge change as a support, uh, as a sub DPS, because C2 increases his elemental mastery by a lot. Other than that, I would recommend if you are a uh, almost free to play player or a very low spender, uh, if you are again playing child, gone, you or anyone that does not focus on damage through elemental reaction, he is going to be a very good character to get for the future, especially because he is a sub DPS slash support, which are rare and tends to kind of keep their value because DPS swap around so quickly these days. Um, on top of that, he is a Nemo, which is kind of useful everywhere except Geo. And uh, um, so yeah, if you are a low budget spender or a free to play player and you like to pull for him, I would recommend C0. If you are like a Dolphin or like someone who do, who do spends a lit, little and you really like him, I would, I would recommend going for C2 to get that extra damage bonus on top with the Elemental Mastery. And of course, if you're a whale, just go for C6. That actually allows him to play as a main DPS and then that kind of swap his playstyle around so much up to the point where essentially you're putting him as a main DPS and you're just swapping in three uh, elemental reaction persons to just do the swirl so for the damage increase. So that is all the information I have for you today. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. Thank you and have a nice day.